Now let's talk about the positive ligands. The positive ligands are named with an ending EM. So hydrazinium EM. This ligand though positive can bind through the uncharged nitrogen. The other type is neutral ligands. The neutral ligands are named as with any special name and it doesn't have any without any special name. Carbonyl, nitrosyl, ethylene, diamine, en, pyridine. But water is only written as aqua. Ammonia is written as amine. So note the two M's distinguished from organic amines. Negative ligands ends in the suffix O, sulfato, thiocyanato, thiosulfato, so fluoro, chloro, oxalato, cyano, nitro, bromo, sulfato, acetato, acetic acid, acetato, thiocyanato, Isothiocyanato and thiosulfato. This is the another area under the name of the ligands that's the chelates. If the ligand is capable of forming more than one bond with the central metal atom or ion, then the ring structures are produced which are known as metal chelates. Hence, the ring forming group are described as a chelating agents or polydentate ligands. Here is a typical example of polydentate ligands. It got a copper here. It got a group of ethyl diamine and ethyl diamine. These two formed with a single metal ion. So, these forms a metal chelates. The coordination sphere. In a complex compound, it usually central metal ion and the ligands are enclosed within a square bracket. That's called as coordination sphere. This represents a single constituent unit. The ionizable species are placed outside the square bracket. These ions do not re ionize to give the test for constituent ion. You are able to see metal, ligand and you got the ion here which is enclosed in a coordination sphere, a box, a square bracket. Coordination number. The coordination number of your metal ion in a complex can be defined as the number of ligand donor atoms to which the metal is directly bonded. Numerically, coordination number represents the total number of chemical bonds formed between the central metal ion and the donor atoms. Here, the coordination number is 1, 2, 3, 4. For example, K4, Fe, Cn6, the coordination number of ion is 6. For Cu, NH3, 4, SO4, the coordination number of copper is 4. This is called as coordination number. And finally, the charge on the complex ion. Charge on the complex ion is equal to the sum of the charges of the metal ion and their ligands. You got the metal ions as minus 6 and your ligands, metal ion is plus 3 and your ligands is minus 6. So adding it you will be getting minus 3.